All right, folks. So I know I'm looking like a little bit of a silhouette here, but it's such a beautiful background. I want to do that. Have that. You see my face all the time if you watch have watched any of it. So I want to share a little story here. I don't have a lot of space on my desk as usual, but I'm going to try to fit this in. So the last video I shared was like my emancipation if I do put that up. It's going to be a little bit of a crazy vid, but so last night I, so the, the day before that was when I felt like I liberated and I kind of like out of system. Then last night was a little bit more difficult. I mean, it still felt that way, but I was going through a lot of kind of introspection and basically I didn't find a really good spot to camp out and so I found one spot but then there was somebody's house across the street and the dog started barking and I felt like am I intruding here because it's like a little small mini forest right across the street from this person's house and it's in it was in a neighborhood but this neighborhood happened to have a little mini wild jungly forest in it and so I wasn't really feeling the whole you know, am I intruding? Are the cops gonna get, there's somebody gonna call the cops on me? Like, that's not my vibe. I'm not in really interested into that. And and I started also noticing that I've been spending a lot of time hauling on my way too big backpack. It seems like it's growing. I don't have it on me right now, but um, it's super big and super fat and way too heavy. It's like 50 pounds at least. Then you add on food and whatever else, which is in more, more weight. And so, yeah, I was light, I was sustainable and lightweight compared to what most people have, but for my physical body, it wasn't working. And I was noticing that I wasn't spending as much time as I really want to spend on reflection. I was spending more in between time, just traveling here, just basically loading, lugging around this heavy backpack, right? And so I was like, well, I want to just get this done. I don't feel like I should be carrying anything. I should just be just carrying like, like some shorts, long pair of pants, a long sleeve shirt and a short sleeve shirt, uh, you know, my camera gear, which is not much, really not much at all, my laptop, which is a very lightweight laptop, and maybe a couple other little things, and that should be like, what, 15 pounds on my, then we'll you get to like my hammock, and that's not heavy either, but basically, think little, every little thing just keeps adding up, and if you're carrying it around all the time, that's not good. So, last night, I slapped on this lawn and I didn't take a picture of it. I should have, I wanted, I would have liked to have shared it with you, but it's very low key. I took my rain fly out and basically had my blanket out like this, like it is. And except it was kind of next to a building behind it and there was like a grassy area and it was kind of off to the side. And it started raining. So I had my rain fly just kind of like very low profile. It was like this high above, like tied onto one thing over there and over, thing, over there. So it was kind of, I was dry, but it just really got me to thinking about the whole, you know, like for, for monks and Buddhist monks and stuff, they live very lightweight, you know, they don't really have any possessions, which allows them to be mobile and then think freely and that kind of stuff. And that's cool. And, and I'm totally, in, like, I appreciate that. And that's just not where I'm at right now. Um, like, I was like, because that's what it was moving into as an option. Like, I could just let go of everything, be wearing the same clothes every day. and keep that clean and lightweight and, and maybe I will do that I'm not saying that I won't necessarily however today one of my friends I, I gave him a hand on their lattice farm today which I had arranged a few days ago and so I go to it and he has this beautiful little property and he's not staying on it and it's in like one of the most coveted places uh, on the, not even just on this island but if no, everybody's know anything it's like in the world probably um, and uh, but he's not even like living on it. He's just got like a little kind of like shack set up on it, just like a little screen room basically, and all big tropical and lush. And, and so I was like, oh, this is all I need right, right now for me. And I can walk to the nearest town and get on the computer and upload more vids and uh, just start sharing more of my sound healing, which I'm really feeling called to do. And um, yesterday, as soon as I, I really, I went to go apply for like a, like a natural food store job and and that's great, and, I, and I'm good at that. It was like a smoothie job for making smoothies or something. And, and I pr went to one area, got my resume, went to another area, printed it off, went back to another area. I mean, this is like a good, like a good three, four hour chunk of my day when I could have been spending that, that on what I'm really feeling called to do, which is sharing my sound healing 
right now and working on the brightly earth but right now specifically i'm feeling called to, to really share a lot of the sound healing um so i almost get to the interview it wasn't even like a setup it was just like you should come this time the owner will probably be around then so i almost there and i get out of the car hitchhike you know i've been hitchhiking a lot and I get to the place finally, and I and I must have like dropped my resume somewhere, and I like lost it. Somebody has my resume now, walking around. They're gonna get a, they're gonna get a job if they use that. <laughs> uh, so it just like it was like a sign, like maybe I really don't need to be doing that right now, and I'm grateful for that. So this is kind of interesting for you, like when things really aren't working out, is it is it important? Is that thing that you're putting planning on doing really in your heart? So in which case, keep tending to it. If not. Maybe that's a good sign to, to really put your energy into where it's at. Um, one of my uh, one of my friends started this thing. Uh, I wonder if I should share it. I don't know if it's proprietary. Uh, I'll ask him. I had, he had a really cool um, idea on how to focus your time. Like basically take the morning, your first first time in the morning, focus mostly for at least an hour an hour and a half on what it is that you really are most interested in um, and do that for like a while like a few months or something and then by then it becomes a habit he's got a cool languaging around it so i'll ask him if i can share that other than that thanks for joining me today um i'm just really grateful that i was able to have the, the universe is able to come through for me and, like some place that's a little bit, I mean, there's like no kitchen there or anything. We're talking just the screen room and, and jungle around me, which is really what I actually most want right now. I just don't want to be hassled by the cops if I just trying to get and connect with nature. And that's what I find. It's like connecting with nature and like sleeping outside at the beach and stuff is, it's like, it's just such a simple desire yet, you know, nobody wants to be, become an outcast or, or, violating rules and laws for such a pure intent so it really takes us all working together to create these spaces for people to live when you know you need time to, to be deep and connect with nature and have a simple life but still be like legal and like still take care of yourself and get your laundry washed when that's needed and be able to work on your internet stuff because those at this point that's like a basic need right now you know just the way our world is set up so um, thanks for listening to this one. Um, hopefully this kind of leads into some other good fruit because basically I now I have like more time to spend reflecting and staying really focused on my work with the Earth by the Earth and with the sound healing and sharing these vids with you and I'm just really excited and grateful for that opportunity and I want that for everybody so that's a lot of my work is based on that so thank you again and um, so much more cool stuff coming through. This is like tip, tips of the icebergs, folks. So I'll see you soon. Um, also, I, I'm feeling I, I need to share, actually, for some reason, that it looks like I'm going to start working with the hanging bed company, um, thefloatingbed.com. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm, I don't know how it's going to pan out yet, but um, I got an email back from them that, they, that they're interested in working with me. Um, looking at partnering with uh, Brightly Earth and the Living Treehouse Project to, with companies that have materials that, that is accept, makes the Living Treehouses more accessible. And uh, so I guess I'll probably put a link or I'm not sure how it's gonna work out, but I'll keep that updated. I'll keep you updated. Really cool, really cool stuff. And, uh, and if you want one, you'd be supporting all of my projects through that purchase. And it's probably like the best bed you can get. All right, see you folks later, bye.